Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh we're a new guy. I know. We're back. We're back. Hello. Welcome. Oh, I hope everyone had a restful weekend. It is Monday, three days to go in the competition. And the madness continues. It does. Uh, should we recap from last week since, but, you know, we had the whole weekend behind us? Oh, let's do it. My heart's still beating. Okay, so we Thankfully. had... Oh, in the desert. The tarantula one. Tarantula one last week on Friday. In the rainforest... I thought the tree frog was going to pull this one out, but anaconda is holding strong. Still going strong. In the ocean, seal defeated the narwhal. Mm, a little bummed crowd, about that one. Narwhals become a crowd favorite. I know. It's like but, the unicorn of the ocean. But the seal, I don't know how they do it. Ball on the nose yeah. and all. And last but not least, in the savanna, the python, another snake one. Python knocked off the gecko. I'm a little surprised. We've got two snakes still left in the competition, so we'll see where that goes. Today, mm -hmm. we have a lot going on. A lot of exciting We have action. another snake. King Cobra will yep. be competing against the Oryx in the great. desert. King Cobra's in looking strong. rainforest, we have the Ocelot versus the Jaguar, mm. but... Conditions in the rainforest today are a little icy, so... Icy. I oh, play on the name. Yeah. I know Isolot. I said it again, right? Oh. Isolot always gets labeled the Isolot, and that's a total misinterpretation, nope. misunderstanding of their name. It's Ocelot. Ocelot. Remember that. Yes. Um, in the ocean, it's octopus versus humpback whale, two very smart creatures. Interesting to see where that will go. Yep, living large. Yep. Mm. <laughs> well, once, well, I don't know, octopuses can get quite large. Last but not least, in the savannah, it's the honey badger versus the lion. I'm secretly rooting for the honey badger. Really? Yeah. Underdog. For, again, the lion. King. Yeah, who's going to knock him off? Well, anyway, should we go over to Bracket Central and see what happens? Bracket Central. Okay. Uh, oh, hey! Bracket Central! How you doing down there? Take it away, guys. <gasps> this, Justin. This is Jenna Pagliaro and Taylor Kramer reporting live from Bracket Central. It's another maddening Monday. Over here in the desert, we have two animals facing off. The Oryx and the King Cobra. The Oryx isn't the King Cobra's typical pre prey, but they are in a standoff. The Oryx is scraping the ground with his hoof. It, it, it looks like it's about to charge at the cobra. The, the cobra is not having it. The cobra stretches itself taller than the Oryx. Here's a demonstration, a live demonstration. <laughs> is she stretching? Not really. So short. <laughs> it is towering over while it hisses. The Oryx, the Oryx is running away. The King Cobra reigns again. That was a tough was one. Rough. Wait, we have another battle with cats in the rainforest today? The Acelot <laughs> versus the Jaguar? The Jaguar's bigger, but the Acelot's Acelot. <laughs> can be quite sneaky. The Acelot's run towards the Jaguar. Oh no! And it just as quickly runs away. The Jaguar shows its sharp fangs. The Acelot did not want to mess with that toothy grin. Let's see what's going on in the sea today. Nice Get it? Book. Get it? Yes. We have two incredibly smart animals, the octopus and the humpback whale. Though larger, humpbacks don't typically go after the octopus. They tend to prefer krill as a meal. Ooh. The octopus has jumped on the back of a whale, but with one big blow of air, the whale sends the octopus flying hundreds of feet into the air. The humpback whale? Wins. wins last up to start out the week we have the honey badger versus the lion in savannah it's no surprise that the lion is still in the race but it is interesting to see the honey badger still competing they're incredibly smart but the lions do treat honey badgers as prey who is going to win this well it was a valiant effort but alas the honey badger has been defeated the lion is still considered king of the jungle. Mm. We have some breaking news over here at Bracket Central. It turns out that the correct pronunciation of Isolot is actually Ocelot. Sincerest apologies, that was just 
We just heard that. Yes. Just came in. Back to you, Paul and Jen.